<clears throat> How y'all doing today? Healing Hero Hands here. And uh, today we'll be talking about carpal tunnel syndrome and how I think that the surgery should either become obsolete or a very severe kind of last stitch effort to fix the carpal tunnel problem. But as a massage therapist, as far as I'm concerned, carpal tunnel is just caused by tension. And uh, we're going to watch this video and I'll try and explain along the way. The carpal tunnel is a narrow passage in the wrist. It is formed by wrist bones on the bottom and sides and a tough band of connective tissue called the transverse carpal ligament on top. Okay, that tough band, that transverse carpal uh, ligament, you want that. It helps us pinch these fingers together. Just remember that. Muscle tendons and the median nerve pass through the carpal tunnel. The median nerve controls muscles in the palm and base of the thumb, allowing them to move. It also provides feeling to the thumb and nearby two and a half fingers. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition where tissue swelling causes pressure to build up within the carpal tunnel. Okay, so that tension that's pressing on that nerve, a lot of that comes from the forearm and the hand being too tight. That transverse carpal ligament gets tight as well. And again, you can loosen up the carpal transverse ligament and you can loosen up the muscles in the forearm, which would help reduce all the swelling of those tendons and ligaments. Uh, and it would help relieve some of that pressure that's pressing on that median nerve. This puts pressure on the median nerve. Over time, median nerve pressure results in symptoms in the areas of hand it supplies. Common symptoms in these areas are pain, numbness, tingling, and weakness. Some of that comes from the nerve issue. Some of the weakness just comes from the muscles not actually responding the way you want them to because they're so tight that they've lost some of their um, essentially power. Risk factors for carpal tunnel syndrome include a smaller carpal tunnel from being female or from genes passed down from parents. Wrist injuries. Other medical conditions that cause inflammation, fluid buildup, or nerve damage, such as diabetes, pregnancy, rheumatoid. Just to cut in, I would say that if you have a smaller carpal tunnel, unless you've had that issue your whole life, then it can be addressed and that tension that's built up that's causing the issue can be reversed. Uh, wrist injury, unless you have had a bone or something that's broken and cut the nerve or damaged it in that kind of sense as long as there's no bone structural damage most of the time it's just muscular tension so again something can be addressed arthritis obesity and hypothyroidism and repetitive hand or wrist motions <clears throat> Mind you, if you look at the shape that the hand is in right now, your muscles start to form to that um, shape because you hold it so much. So that transverse carpal ligament gets stuck in this kind of claw position, which is narrowing that wrist and uh, base of your palm point. A common treatment for mild to moderate carpal tunnel syndrome is keeping the wrist in a neutral position by wearing a brace or splint. In it. So the only problem with that is that when you put them in splints and stuff, you start to lose more of that range of motion because you're not actively using your hand to its full extent. So your muscles have time to kind of bind down more so in that restricted condition. It might help for a short term, but in the long term, you really want to loosen up the muscles uh, so that you don't have the problem anyways. 
non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, may help relieve pain. A doctor may also recommend a corticosteroid injection to reduce inflammation and swelling. Again, cortisone shots are just temporary measures. They're numbing agents along with anti-inflammatories. Um, but essentially, you want to loosen up that tension so that you don't need a numbing agent. For moderate to severe symptoms, a doctor may recommend a surgical procedure called carpal tunnel release. This procedure may be done as an open procedure through an incision in the palm and wrist. Or it may be done as an endoscopic procedure through a small keyhole incision. I'll probably try and put some pictures up here, but the actual carpal tunnel surgery sucks. They do chop basically the base of your palm open. Um, we shouldn't be doing that. The surgeon will perform this procedure with an endoscope, which is a device containing a tiny camera and surgical instruments. In both procedures, the transverse carpal ligament will be cut to relieve pressure on the median nerve. As far as a massage therapist is concerned, you can loosen up this transverse ligament. You can basically press on both of these bones and you can get that to loosen up. You can loosen up this fiber. You can also loosen up the uh, pomelar aponeurosis, which is a sheet that comes in and wraps into the base of your palm here. But all of this can be loosened up and doesn't need to be cut in half. That's why I, I believe that, you know, this should be an outdated surgery to some extent. At the end of either procedure, the incision will be closed with sutures. Anyways, I hope this video was useful in the sense that it, um, I guess, properly got my point across as to why I believe massage therapy would be a better option for carpal tunnel syndrome as opposed to the surgery, which is destroying structures to alleviate the pressure or... A cortisone shot which is a numbing agent to release the pressure I believe that you should loosen up the muscles which will alleviate some of the pressure and you should loosen the transverse ligament so that those structures have the space that they were originally supposed to have so that there's not a bunch of pressure on that nerve so that you don't have carpal tunnel syndrome anyways like subscribe if this video was helpful you know, share it with some friends that may or may not be thinking about the carpal tunnel surgery. Um, I can definitely help. Feel free to reach out. The information will be in the uh, details below.